All right, today I got a kind of a cool video for y'all, bro. I'm gonna tell y'all about how I found out I had a secret brother, bro. This whole time I was going through life not knowing that I had a brother or sister. Now, I told y'all the story about how I found out about my sister. <sighs> And that was embarrassing. I'm not gonna lie. If you haven't seen that video, it's either on this channel or the other one. I don't know which channel I'm putting this on. If, if, if this video is on Symphonite, it might be on this channel or it might be on Cinemation. I'm gonna be honest with you. I have no idea. Either way, that video was crazy, but true. It's sad. But my brother was a whole different situation. Now, you know, I got my little brother, you know, the goat. And I've been taking care of him his whole entire life. However, I found out a little bit after I found out about my sister that I had a brother, another brother. And, you know, I'm not going to lie, bro. It's like one of them situations where it's like, yeah, that's my family. So, you know, I loved it. But like, we don't talk much. And I'll explain why, bro. So my dad was a terrible ass nigga. Bro, when he went to prison, he went for like distribution. So he was in there for a long time, like 12 years or some shit, bro. He went in when I was like four, five, and he got out when I was like 17, almost 18. So he did like 12, 13 years, damn near. Dad, terrible dude. I'm not gonna lie. Not, not like, I don't know how to explain it, bro. He's just terrible because he's a deadbeat. But I mean, it is what it is, bro. There's a lot of deadbeats in the world. Nothing we can do about it except be better fathers, bro. And that, 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 that is what it is. However, First off, this dude is black as shit. Now, I ain't gonna lie. It's nothing wrong with being dark skin. I love dark skins, bro. You feel me? Yeah, my dark skin women. God damn. Like, y'all so fine. Like, <laughs> sheesh. But anyway, that's besides the point, bro. And that's not what we're here to talk about. What we are here to talk about is the fact that my father is the type of nigga that if he goes into a dark room, you got to be like, yo, smile for me. Because if not, you're just going to be running into him. I'm not going to lie. This man is in there looking like the darkness dude from Pajama Sam, bro. No cap. However, with being a very dark man, his soul was also dark. He doesn't give a fuck about anybody but himself. So he never bothered to tell me I had a brother or sister. Even when he used to call, collect, call my phone and shit. He never would tell me, which is crazy because it's like, bro, I have a brother and sister. You would think that I'd want to grow up with them. But, you know, now we're adults and we have this super strained relationship and it's weird because you never told me about them. So it's what it is. Nothing I can do about it. Whatever. So after meeting my sister, she's the one that tells me I got a brother. Now, she tells me my brother's name is, well, obviously I'm not going to tell y'all. We'll just call my brother in this video, Richard. All right. Now, my brother Richard was super dope. He was in high school. He was very good at football. He almost went to the NFL. I think he ended up going like semi-pro he went to one of them semi-pro leagues didn't quite make the cut but he was super cold bro like he's really that guy it's like if you play the pickup game against somebody in the d league they would destroy you and it's kind of like that he's like one of them d league ass dudes and there's nothing wrong with that but that's you know how i met him he was just a sports guy so i went to a few of his like high school games and i never talked to him because i was kind of nervous about it i was older than him so i would just show up and watch but i just didn't want to you know go talk to him or his mom because i ain't know if it was going to be like a weird situation for them something bad you know so i was just like eh. i was like fuck it you know I just let it be what it was. But one day I said, nah, I want to talk to my brother and find out more about him. See what kind of guy he is, bro. He might be one of the coolest dudes ever. And I wouldn't know because I haven't went and talked to him. I'm being a big pussy. Talking about big, big pussy, like uh, the fat dude pussy from Sopranos. So I go to go see, you know, my brother, see what's up with him, bro. After the game and shit. I'm like, yo, Richard, Richard. He's like, yo, what's good? Who, who are you, bro? I'm like, hey, man, uh, my name is Sin. And, uh, We'll just call my dad, uh, fucking Zeke. We'll call him the Zeke. <laughs> and I'm Zeke's son. I'm your brother. And bro, this dude just looked at me like I was playing. He started laughing. I'm like, nah, like seriously, I'm your brother, bro. Like we got the same dad. And he's like, man, nah, I don't got no other brothers or sisters, man. My mom told me I don't. And I'm like, damn, maybe your mom don't know. But like, yeah, that's my dad. We got the same dad. He's like, man, come on, let, let, let's go talk to my mom. I'm like, all right, bet. So we go over to his mom and I'm not going to lie, bro. I'm not going to hold you. My brother mom was bad as shit, bro. I'm going to keep it a thousand. So that's not my family. You feel me? Like, it ain't my blood. So you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. She was bad as shit, boy. I was like, God damn. She wanted them drawings. So I'm like, yo, I ain't gonna lie. My dad, like, say what you want about him. You know what I'm saying? Bro, you know what I'm saying? Annoying as hell. Bro be on that bullshit and all that. But, man, he be getting them hoes. I ain't gonna lie. I can't even really say that. You know what I'm saying? Not bad about it. Not calling my mama a hoe, you feel me? Because, you know, that's my mom and all that. She don't count. 
My dad be pulling them bad joints. I don't know how he be pulling them, though. He really some mid, but, like, dad look like a fucking... <laughs> A uh, burn victim. All right, my fault. That was crazy. However, anyways, that's besides the point, yo. I ain't gonna lie. My brother, dad, uh, my brother, brother, dad, pause. That was crazy. My brother, mom was a baddie, yaddy, yaddy. You feel me? I'm talking about uh, 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 WAP type shit. Meg the Stallion, John, uh, Cardi B, John. Like, nah, 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 not really Cardi B. But she was like tall, slim, thick, had the but don't get crazy on her back, bro. Looking like a fucking, she like a camel with the hump. <laughs> No cat. But you know, that it don't matter. So I'm talking to her and I'm like, listen, you know, my name's Sin. My dad is Zeke. You know, I'm I'm Rich's brother. She started laughing too. I'm like, yo, I must just be a comedian. Y'all just think everything funny today, huh? Like, ha ha ha. You feel me? Jokes on me, I guess. I'm not fucking lying, bro. It's really my brother. So she's like, oh, okay, well, let me call, you know, your grandma and see you know if she can confirm it stuff like that so she called my grandma bro the conversation was mad funny bro hello hey what's going on baby hey grandma um so does zeke have other kids oh baby i thought you knew that yeah he's got another daughter and he's got another son i see both of them pretty often they come see grandma you know grandma got that good ass cooking now you come get your plate now uh Okay, Grandma, I'll talk to you later. Thanks. So she get off the phone, bro, and she's like, wow, this is really your brother. And right off rip, you know what I'm saying? I find out my brother Richard is mad cool, bro. Bro, he one of them dudes. He was just the cool dude in high school, bro. He got, you know what I'm saying? Had that shit on, bro. Now, you know, my life was harder than his and my sister's because when my dad went to prison, he left all of his money with their parents. So, you know, I had nothing and they had everything. And he was a, a pretty big up there guy. You feel me? With the drug game. He had a lot of money. My sister told me it was like over six figures it was what that, you know, what she got and her mom got. That's just hers. Not counting his. My dad is a piece of shit. I didn't get anything from him, bro. Nothing except for trauma. <laughs> Motherfucker gave me a bad mental health experience, bro. Didn't give me no bread. So I'm sitting here and, you know, I'm envious of this because my brother's life is fire. But then I'm like, I'm not really mad at him. I'm just more so mad at my dad. It's just another reason why when I punched him in his mouth, it was justified. But, you know, it is what it is. You, 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 you know, you gonna punch niggas sometimes. So me and my brother Richard, like, we kick it off, bro. We hanging out all the time, bro. I'm still going to his games. He come into my games. Nah, I'm playing. <laughs> Bro, ain't pull up to my games. Because I was out of school. <laughs> no cap. I think I was like 19 at the time. 18, 19. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> But nah, I was pulling up to his games. And, you know, he would come over to my house. We would hang out, play the game and shit like that. We had a lot of fun together, bro. Because he was just, at the end of the day, a regular ass dude just like me. It's just, we met each other madly. Which sucks, but it's not our fault. That's just how life works sometimes. I remember it was this one time, yo, me and Richard was out chilling. It was like me, him, some of our other friends and shit. We all chilling. We decided to go to this spot where they do like events, but it's also got a bar in it. And I'm like, okay, cool. I've never been here, bro. I heard the food here was pretty decent. Man, I get in there, bro, and it is mad funny, bro. This is when I learned that my man's was really that guy like he had that dog in him bro so we get to the bar bro and these dudes as we walking up they jump in our seats we about to sit in bro so i'm like what the fuck i start bucking on bro and i knew that my brother was really that dude and he was gonna hold it down because as i'm bucking on him bro my brother's circling the situation getting on the other side already like yeah i wish you would swing boy i'm gonna knock you clean out of this bitch and i knew that my brother had my back bro so I wasn't worried about shit. You know, long story short, me and those guys didn't fight because there's some hoes and they gave them seats up. But it was just cool seeing that my brother was really ready. Like, he was like that one meme that RDC be always, um, people be posting the RDC, I mean, where it's like the, the getting jumped and then the dude is kind of circling them at the court. He waiting to sneak them. Like, that's how my brother was, bro. A real guy, a real man. You fed me, no cap. Hey, man. Moral of the story, if you find out you got a sibling, man, live life with them, man. It's dope. You know what I'm saying? You living with them. Not living with them, but like you living your life with them pretty much. They in your life. They, 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 you surrounded by them. It's all good vibes. You get to meet them, bro. Because you might just meet somebody that you really fuck with. 
or it'll be like my siblings. You fought with them super heavy at first and then y'all just stop talking. Either way, you met them. 